Welcome back. We're um we're on a hunt to uh <laughs> we're gonna walk all the way back. It's gonna take ten thousand years. What is it, boy? It's coming. Is that the regalia? Yeah, it's me, uh, Talkit. My grandpa served the Amasidia family. Talkit? Yeah. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. That's that's right. Huh? Oh. Just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay. Uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Wow. I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different, though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these ten years. Years. <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they anyway? Listalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives them a call. <sighs> oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime, non-stop. Lestalem still has light, thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. <laughs> That's Only cute. There. Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open, though. One of the few places that is. So, Sid, is he still alive and kicking? <laughs> He's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there, too. But old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big, fat, chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way, so the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. <laughs> he tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts, too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said, if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? Her mad it's been ten years. Can we talk about how You're it's right. been ten years? Your Majesty, everyone will be so happy to see you. And don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. What kind of reunion? I feel like we just streamlined through the story after we went to time. Hey. Hey. 
that's all you have to say for yourself after all this time? <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really you! I hadn't realized. Well, well. You <coughs> kept us waiting. Catching up to do. <coughs> Let's head inside. Oh, <laughs> once you leave Hammerhead, the final battle will begin. That's lovely. Geophysical survey of atmospheric conditions. The presence of soot like photophilic particles was confirmed in samples of air taken at varying elevations. With notably higher concentrations at higher altitudes, photophilic particles have begun to subsume, subsume the ozone layer, and the observed reduction of daylight on EOS can be attributed primarily to their light absorbing properties. So I'm guessing, uh. Do we get any food here? What is this? So the nature of photophilic particles. On examining multiple correlations between the photophilic particles responsible for the blight and the mutant strand of plasmodium associated with the demons, we have discovered a clear causal relationship. Furthermore, given the mass dispersal of photophilic particles upon death, the demon presence is likely accountable for the violent ecological shifts of late. I thought that was Gladio. I was like, uh, why did he age this much? Well, no point in us being in these outfits anymore. <coughs> so, um. I just don't know, like, what. Is the appropriate things to put on him? Enhance his strength slightly. Hmm. Mm. I. I don't know what the best thing is to use for stuff, honestly. From petrification? Something that like stops you? Oh, where's his ice damage? Cool. Yeah, see, I don't know what I want to put on him. Um. We're gonna give Prompto the tempered shield because he's always dying. So, we're all gonna be in our Yeah, see, it's just not cute. It's just not cute. have the suit on though. We'll keep the suit. Yeah, I just don't know. I feel like I'm not going to be taking to ward off lightning. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know, honestly. We're just going to put random stuff on at this point. <laughs> This is the first time we've worn this jacket on screen. This is so creepy. Is the regalia still gone? You, sir. You still look the Bro. same? I need like 19 of these. Thank you. Um. I think everything else we're Drum good again. on. T 
TBH. There's no regalia though, guys. Can we talk about that? Hey, what is this? Old book. Okay. No matter how distorted everything is. Actually, we're gonna put his uh, royal raiment um, no jacket on for now. Just so I can run indefinitely. This makes life easier. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but my mother's on the phone and literally she is so loud. Oh, there's an item here. I can hear it, which means you guys might be able to hear it, but she's laughing like a hyena. So in the event you can hear that, I apologize. We can't even rest. What's the point of even being here if we can't even go anywhere? Well, here goes. Can I save? Yes, we're gonna save. <laughs> Look at this crouch position. Cute. Uh-oh, I think I broke it. There we go. Chapter 14, World of Ruin. Come on. Nothing else to do here, so, I mean... Well, fellas, we're homeward bound at last. Time to suit up. Finally get to rock these threads. Wear them with pride. Yeah. Just hope they still fit. What? <laughs> Say what now? Are we getting another outfit or something? Final campsite. Okay. Thirty-five hundred of action HP by a thousand. Uh huh. What does this do? Enables sprinting without expending stamina. Oh, that might be nice. What does this do? Increases fire resistance, increases attack, and increases. I'm gonna make this one. It has multiple things, and you can't go wrong with that. My mother is honestly so loud. <laughs> oh, it's crap. It looks weird. I would not want to eat that myself, personally. But I mean, to each their own, if they like it. Oh, these are different outfits. Or maybe it's just their outfits up close. Photos were not. After ten long years of solitude, Noctis is reunited with his friends, breaking camp for the final time. They return to their crown city of Insomnia, where the chosen king will make his stand and restore the light to the world. And or, in layman's terms, Noctis goes to die. <laughs> goes to die, indeed. This loading screen is probably gonna be the longest loading screen of life. I can feel it. I feel it coming. I feel it coming, babe. <coughs> oh, snaps. <laughs> Home sweet home. Yeah, at long last. What we've been waiting for. Sure is. Next stop, the Citadel. Yeah. This is it. Give it your all, guys. Yeah. Ah! You got it! With that pleasure. Ah! Uh, sort of my easy. 
this guy behind me is really is making me angry. Like, like chill, bro. Like y'all are irritating. I've been fought together like this in ages. Really takes it back, doesn't it? We may have struggled before, but now nothing can stand in our way. There's like a resting place here, but... Or maybe it's not really here. It just looks like it's here. Oh, it's below. Could catch some Z's here. Certainly. It's a spot worth taking note of. Uh, we don't need it. What else? What did you guys? Kingly raiment. Okay, the holy on the top of the king. The inner line of fence against the kubos and invigorates the wearer's spirit. Allows the king to move freely and recover his health much faster. What does this do? Oh, it makes his it's, it's, oh, it's this defense. And what do you guys have? What does this look like? Eh, you can keep the jacket on. I'm guessing they all just look like this. Under. Yep, okay. Yeah, we're gonna leave him with no jacket because... This is low key, like, kind of creepy. I don't. Anyway, we're gonna end this part right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. We're nearing the end game soon, so I might just keep going after this part and see what happens. And ultimately, stay lit.